Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about cost optimization pillar of AWS Well Architected Framework. So we have discussed that AWS Well Architected Framework actually helps cloud architects so that they can build a secure, high performing, resilient and efficient infrastructure for a variety of applications and workloads. And as per definition, workload is a collection of resources and code that delivers business, business value. For example, a marketing website can be an example of workload. Let's say the backends for a mobile app or analytic platform, they all can be workloads. And the cost optimization pillar focuses on the ability to run system to deliver business value at the lowest price possible and to avoid unnecessary cost. So like we have something which we want to deploy in, in cloud, let's say we have some e-commerce website, we want to deploy that website on the, on the, on the, uh, in the cloud. So we need to uh, cost optimize that. So for that, we need some guideline, we need some best practices, and for that, this pillar is uh, there to help us, uh, to help um, cloud architects. So this pillar provides an overview of design principle, best practices, and questions, which will help us to achieve cost optim uh, optimum solution for our uh, workload, let's say for our website. There are five design principles for cost optimization in the cloud. First is implement cloud financial management. Adopt a consumption model. Measure overall efficiency. Stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy lifts and lifting. Analyze and attribute expenditure. So first we are going to discuss the first design principle that is implement cloud financial management. So this design principle suggests that to achieve financial success and accelerate business, invest in cloud financial management and cost optimization. So for example, as an individual or as an organization, we need to invest in cloud financial management. So as an organization, we should dedicate time as well as resources to build capability to become a cost efficient organization. For example, training, we should have some familiarity with all these things, what we are using, why we are using. So all these things will come with some time and some resources are required as an individual or as an organization to go through that process. And then this practice will help us to achieve a cost optimum solution in the cloud. Adopt a consumption model. So it says that adopt a consumption model means pay only for the computing resources that, that you require. So don't just base on your forecasting and just get all these resources all at once. You just use or you can in the cloud, this is the advantage that you can increase or decrease your usage uh, depending on the business requirement. So it says that adopt consumption model. And for example, it says that Development and testing environment are typically only used for eight hours a day. For example, you are deploying or testing some environment and your workers or your employees are there only for eight hours a week. So it means then you can stop those resources which you have in the cloud. You can stop those resources and in this way you can save on your budget. And measure overall efficiency. So measure the business output of the workload and the cost associated with, uh, with delivering it. It means you have workload, which whatever business value it, that workload is providing you. And you also need to measure the cost associated with delivering it and use that measure to know the gain you make from increasing output or reducing costs. So measure efficiency. You're investing in such things and what kind of return you are getting stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy lifting so in the cloud say aws does all the heavy lifting of data center operations like racking stacking and powering servers so this is something cloud is doing cloud service provider is doing maybe aws is doing and it also removes the operational burden of managing operating system applications with managed services so this will also be the responsibility of the cloud service provider. And as a result, this allows you to focus on your customers and business projects rather than 
on IT infrastructure. So that is one of the biggest advantage of cloud that you don't need to concern about rest of the things. Analyze and att attribute expenditure. So the cloud makes it easier to accurately identify the usage and cost of system and which then allows transparent attribution of IT costs to individual workload owners and this helps uh, major return on investment and gives workload owner an opportunity to optimize their resources and reduce cost. It says that it means you have the data with you, you have the usage pattern with you and by using those usage patterns you can optimize the resources which you have um, subscribed for and then maybe you can reduce the costs. In addition to those design principles, we have five best practices for cost optimization to cover the foundational questions in the cloud. So foundational questions and the, some context about them and the best practices are given. And these are best, best practice areas. Practice cloud financial management, expenditure and user uh, usage awareness, cost effective resources, manage demand and supply resources. and and uh, optimize over time sorry for that so you can use cloud financial management you can use cost explorer by aws we can use aws budget you can check and balance approach and you can manage demand and supply resources for cost optimization in the cloud it means cloud is providing you some of the services and by using those services you can optimize your cost in the cloud first best practice area is practice cloud financial management it means there is a cloud financial management how do you implement cloud financial management which will be helping you to optimize cost expenditure and usage awareness so the questions like how do you govern usage how do you decommission resources so those questions actually help you uh, in like expenditure usage awareness and then cost effective resources how do you evaluate cost when you select services so these are some of the question foundational questions and for the for the best practices regarding these foundational questions and some context of these questions will be given in the document which I'm I'll be sharing in that in the description section but these are some of the questions which help us to achieve cost optimization in the cloud and how do you meet cost targets when you select resource type size and number and how do you use pricing model to reduce cost so you see these all are the tools which can help us to achieve cost uh, optimization then how we use them these are some of the questions which we need to ask ourselves when we are designing some architecture and fourth best practices manage demand and supply resources how do you manage demand and supply resources? For example, sometimes the, some of the resources may be in high demand. Some of the time they, those resources may not be in that much demand. Then how do you manage resources? And if you are very much aware of supply and demand things, then maybe you can manage it. So this is also one of the foundational questions which will help us. And the fifth best practice, which is the last one, is optimize over time. How do you evaluate new services? So this is the last uh, point, a last best practice area which uh, has this foundational questions. In this video, we try to briefly go through the important point about design principles and best practice areas regarding cost optimization pillar of AWS well architected framework. Hopefully these some slides which are very brief, of course, and further details you can find in the document, uh, which is a uh, link is there in the description section. So hopefully this might be helpful for some of you. And thank you very much. Hope to see you in our uh, next video on sustainability pillar of AWS Well-Architected Framework. Thank you.